Yo, what's up? It's your girl Chaz. Welcome to another Chaz Chat video. Logo Red Roll. Do you know how smart your kids are? No, like, they are really, really smart and extremely gifted. And the gifts and passions that are on the inside of them deserve proper cultivation. A lot of times we hear kids say things that they like or are interested in, and we brush it off as cute because they are big dreamers. In reality, those big dreams could turn into big realities if given the proper tools and support. Don't limit your kid's potential to your lack of belief. They are not stuck in the same boxes that you are stuck in. Work for your kid's dreams as if it's yours, or even harder, them being kids does not eradicate their purpose. If anything, it propels it. Kids have the luxury of believing in themselves without limitations placed on them by society, exposure, or fear of failure. They believe. How much further could we be if we had faith like that? The boldness to move, the audacity to believe in yourself beyond perceivable limitations. We allow life to scare us out of our dreams. Do not become that to your kids. Allow their perceived reality to become reality. If your four-year-old sees himself as a scientist, do not laugh it off or say, oh, that's cute without giving it another thought. No, get them a subscription to KiwiCo. Look up science experiments on YouTube. Send them to a STEM junior summer camp. Feed and nurture that passion. They don't need your doubt or negativity. They need your support verbally, physically, and in most cases, financially. Bet on your kids, invest in your kids, uplift your kids. Talk to them and declare over their lives. They are smart, beautiful, powerful, a world changer, etc. Embed that into their DNA. And support does not mean that you have to downplay the work that comes into making it happen. But let them know, hey, if you want this, I'm assisting doing whatever it takes to get you there. But you, but you gotta work. And encourage them to work at it. Provide the tools so they can build the craft. Laziness is not going to cut it. They gotta put in the work, but at least provide them the tools to do that. Don't limit them from even being able to start. How discouraging is that? And pay attention to those natural passions. If your child watches sports all day, cultivate that. Maybe they aren't interested in playing, but they have a natural desire and a very keen eye for the game. You know how many careers are in sports outside of the players? Maybe your kids play video games for hours. Okay, let's take it up a level. What do you like about the game? What makes a game a good game? What's your favorite game? Name the best 10 things about that game. Name 10 things that could be improved about it. If you were to make a game, what would it be about? What would the characters look like? Would it be mission-based or free play? Have them create their own video game. Send them to a camp or conference or YouTube university on how to bring that to life or at least to get it in front of the right people. Find out what it is that they like about the game. They could be fascinated with the graphics and maybe they don't want to come up with the plot for the game, but they may want to design the graphics for someone else's idea. And you may not have a lot of money, but you can get creative with how you support their vision. You YouTube University is real. Talk to your kids and find out what their interests are. Don't underestimate how smart they are. And while we're on the topic, stop making their points feel invalid because they're the child and you're the adult. They have views and opinions. Allow them to express those. Allow your children to communicate how they feel. Within respect boundaries, of course. We are raising a generation of geniuses. Our babies have billion dollar brains. Give them the tools even outside of their craft to groom them for success. And stop babying your children. Have them make their own dentist appointments. Get them a monitor bank account at the age of 13 or younger, depending on your child, so they can learn about financial responsibility. Teach them about credit, what it is and how it works. Be mindful of your words. The things you say stick to your children and way on them, way beyond what you could even imagine. There's a saying that says something along the lines of, the ax may forget, but the tree never does. That's probably not right, but it's probably close. Love them at home because school is rough. Have meaningful conversations with them regarding their day, school, emotions, etc. Ask intentional questions. Engage with them. Make them feel loved. Celebrate with them. Go places and create memories. Make silly choreographed dance videos, etc. They will cherish those moments and remember those for the rest of their lives. Talk to them about God. They are not too young to understand. Talk to young children about grace and the healing power of God and about laying hands show them what to do by your stripes I am healed head you have no pain I command you to line up with the supernatural in Jesus name that, that baby, baby is a genius don't, don't do teach about him about Santa, Santa till you teach him about Jesus. Jesus that's a chance to rap the line <laughs> bio
Imagine a child, fearless, with the boldness to pursue and achieve, with hearts and dreams vaster than the ocean. Cultivated and nurtured by parents who genuinely believe in them and provide them with tools and resources to equip them with what's necessary to thrive. Pushing and challenging them to become who they say they want to be while developing their independence, spirituality, and emotional soundness. Who can stop a kid like that? If you got anything out of that, give me a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you have kids or know someone who has kids or plan to have kids one day, share this video. Our children cannot afford for their parents to be ignorant in this area. Subscribe if you are not already. Turn on your bell notification so you don't miss a beat. Thank you for watching and I really truly hope that I will see you in the next video. Have a good day, night, evening, or morning wherever you are. Thank you.